why would a mother abandon her child? Well, first of all, Kathy, thank you for having us here and thank you for allowing us to share our vision and our mission regarding this very, um, very sad topic. But it's important to remember that there is a potential for a very life affirming ending to, to these stories. Your question is a great question. I think historically, if you, if you consider, um, even biblically, Moses, scripture tells us that was abandoned by his mother to save his life and eventually to save a nation. And um, during the Middle Ages, there were these things called foundling wheels that were found in convents where mothers could go and place a child within this little window in a wall and um, babies would be cared for by, by the nuns in the convent. So all of this to say that this is not a new idea. <clears throat> in fact, <clears throat> we know that there is a, there's a great story of a current day pastor in Korea that built a, a window in the wall of his home in which he has saved over 600 wow. babies by babies being placed and, and handed over. You know, and this guy is an amazing, amazing hero to me, as is this gentleman who's sitting to my right, who is also has, has saved many, many babies here in, in South Florida. I'm very proud to be able to be sitting next to him. But to answer your question, why this occurs, I think I can give you, I can give you a million reasons, but right. I think you can, you can just sum everything down to one thing, and I think that's desperation. As a parent myself, I can't imagine ever being to a position where I feel that I can no longer take care of a child, of, of my child. Right. And um, I think for a parent to do this, the element of desperation has to be so, so great. You put yourself in those your shoes and you think, what can drive you? You get to that point because it's almost unfathomable, but it happens. Absolutely. And of course, when you, when you add on there, um, mental illness, for everything from frank psychosis to postpartum depression, um, let's say... Um, socioeconomic. Socioeconomic, substance abuse.